yes welcome back this is where we stopped you can see that our bubble has completely installed you can see found zero vulnerabilities added 306 packages so and i have bubble cli this is the latest version 7.6 i have core i have bubble register preset and node so my installations are done so this is the command that i used to do my installation npn install as dependency bubble cli bubble core bubble preset bubble register and bubble node so my installation is done and that is why i'm here so if you get back to your package.json you should be able to see all these things that are installed as dependencies so when you scroll down now under uh, dependencies now can you see dev dependencies we have bubble bubble core bubble cli bubble node preset and register you see so all of them are installed effectively so we're gonna continue now now for our code to recognize bubble we need to create the bubble script and uh, for you to do that make sure you're on the you're on the right place i'm actually in desktop and teamwork demo that's the initial folder i'm not inside the back end so i'm going to be able to create that and to do that i told us to create a file you simply use the uh, word touch that is how you create a file so the script for bubble you just say dot bubble rc that is how you create the script bubble rc so once you do that you press the enter key so you're going to see a file you can see now this is my file this is my bubble file is here so i'll click on it so that i can write the script that will enable it to be seen bubble so to do that i simply open uh, the coily brace i press the enter key then this is where i type so i'm gonna simply type uh presets that's the command that's how you write the script preset but make sure you put it in double code or simple code so i'm gonna first of all put this uh quote then i'm gonna now write presets you see exactly the way i wrote it make sure you write it that, that then i'm gonna write the colon then i will not tell you what to look at so to do that i'm gonna use this sign the block quotes then uh single quotes then i'm gonna say add bubble the one i installed which is what bubble slash the very preset environment that we did preset env remember this so that is the code so with this bubble is going to be able to see our code and do exactly so i did ctrl s to save so with that i'm done with bubble bubble will be able to see our code and be able to uh compile every year six code that we are going to be writing <laughs> isn't that interesting so after doing that i'm going to be able to install node more very very important and for you to do installation as you know you're going to simply say npm node packet manager please help me and install and while you're installing please let it be a dependency and what am i installing node mon so node mon you know what node mon it does it watches and and uh, runs the server very easily for us instead of us having to stop and start it so once i do that i'll wait for node mon to install yes so i'm gonna keep it a little while uh, I would have actually installed both Nodemon and Express. Okay, but let me do it one by one. So when I install Express now, then I'll start writing my code immediately in my server.js. So you see the steps I'm taking, very discrete steps that are very, very good, which will enable you to do an accurate work. So uh, let's do it that way. So I'm going to wait for Nodemon to co complete its installations. Uh, please if you have any questions and concerns, please drop them in the comment section And like I told us before this uh, lecture is all about getting newbies uh, started so that they don't get uh, Disappointed and stop halfway I'm gonna do it to an extent where you can you're supposed to now continue by yourself and complete it So basic things like Babel and all these things. Maybe you are not very good at it 
during the lectures that we had maybe they, it was not explained this way that's why i'm taking our time to do it so that when i do it uh you can now complete the rest by yourself so you can always ask me questions as your mentor i'll always be there to help you pull through them uh, so we'll be taking it line by line uh the short videos are very short because my system will not be able to contain very long video without uh having problem synchronizing what i'm talking with what you're seeing on the screen so that's what we are having is as short short videos so uh okay node mon is almost done uh installing so you can see it added 75 packages if you now check our uh package.json you should be able to see node mon you can see node mon is also added now finally I'm going to install Express. You know Express is very needed. That's the what is going to help our uh, make, help us to build our server easier. So I'm going to say um, uh, for me to install Express, I'm going to simply say npm. Just notice what I'm doing. Not package manager. Please help me install and save. Install now and save. I want you to save. Install and save what Express. So that's why I'm going to. That's how I'm going to install Express. Very, very important. So once it starts Express and save, I should be able to start writing my code. Uh, but before I write my code, it should be good also if I install debug and .env. Things that will help me do my work effectively. So I'm going to do all that. So once I install the book and .env, I should be able to start working immediately. But uh, let's get uh, Express installed. Uh, once Express installed, I think we can actually okay without the book and .env, I can do it uh, run the server first so that you see the way it works. Then henceforth we can continue. So uh, uh, Express is being installed. Once it's done, we are going to open go to backend. And open our server.js and write our first code. So while it is being installed, I want to sign off, but uh, very soon it's going to be completely installed. Thank you.